Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com. And in this video, I want to show you my experience with this Sensational French Manicure Starter Kit with the stickers that come with it, how that worked out for me versus uh, white gel polish instead of the stickers. What I found was that I liked using the white gel polish better than using the white tips. It was easier to do, and so far I've found it to be much longer lasting. So in this video, I'm gonna go over those two different options. I'll show you what I did and didn't like about each technique. So what you're seeing here is my nails with the included French tip stickers. The morning after I put them on, I realized that I had had better luck than other people online, so I thought I'd show how I applied the stickers. They were cracking when they were putting them on, and they said even the next morning after they did their manicure, the white tips were cracking. So I feel like it's no big deal to hold it by the side. It's sticky on one side. So I took a pair of tweezers like this, and or I would hold it on the edges with my fingers because that was not going to get used. And then I would just line it up like this. Every single one of them came out fine. This one's a little bit crooked, but I don't think... Anyway, so let's get to this. So I just set it here, kind of eyeball where I want it. And then I would just push it down, not with a fingernail, but with just my finger, um, smooth it over. And then it would hang over the edge here and over the edge on the sides, but I wouldn't care about that. I'm gonna file that part away. And I would just lay it down like this. I don't want it to stick. See, and then I just push this down, push this down here. It's not easy, you can't do the French manicure in a hurry, but I will be delighted if it lasts a long time. I'm skeptical about the stickers, but I had them, I'll use them, and I don't know if I would buy the refill for the stickers unless this lasts for a good long time. Instead, I will buy the white gel polish and, uh, and I think I'll have everything I wanted. I'll have the look I wanted and I'll have the longevity that uh, a gel manicure gives you. Don't open this little package until you're ready to use it and then use it in that sitting. The air starts to degrade it and it starts to become brittle and even the very next day, these are brittle, they're difficult to even take off of the plastic. So that's why they're individually packaged like this. You, you can't use 10 of them and then come back a week later and use the other 10. So uh, that's my advice about these. That said, I still don't recommend this version because I used it and within a couple of days, these were chipping off. So I hope this company makes not just a marketing video, but a video how to correctly use these because I haven't really found anybody who loves this system. However, I do love this system with the included baby doll pink nail polish. It came with this little tiny one. The baby doll pink nail polish and their white gel nail polish. This does not come with the white nail gel nail polish. I went back the next day looking for white gel nail polish and the only way I could find it in this brand was in another one of these kits that came with 10 more of those little, little things that I didn't want and a full size bottle of the baby doll pink which is nice it's very sheer you can see it's very very sheer you almost can't even tell that it's on there so the gel manicure you know I think it'll last a month I think the reason why everyone says two weeks is because your nail starts to grow out and there's a space here between the cuticle and the nail bed you're just gonna have a space down here that looks funky so a French gel manicure I think is ideal because it's going to be less obvious as that starts to grow out as opposed to any other color. So that's why I was determined to do it this way because the, my first gel manicure ever in a salon lasted three weeks and it would have gone on lasting for probably another two weeks except that it looked awful as it grew out and I had that space like you get when you have acrylic nails. The sticker manicure chipped away after about three days. Some were still intact, but several had popped off altogether and the other ones were just badly chipped. So I sanded off just the white tips and then smoothed it over, cleaned it with alcohol and put on a new coat of clear. So here I'm showing how I put on the first layer of white gel polish. This is the first one I'm doing. So I eventually learned to put it on in a very thin coat. 
this is a little thick. All of the gel polish should be put on in a thin coat so that it can fully cure when you put it under the light. So I'm just dipping that brush into acetone and then dabbing it off onto a paper towel so it's not too wet. And you can see that it pulls away the white and it's pretty easy to do it because you have the layers of glossy clear already on there. So it wipes away really easy. You would think that the acetone would really eat away at the previous coats of polish, but because they're cured and they're just really bonded on there, I've found that a quick swipe of acetone just really doesn't affect it. So I'm going to put it in the LED lamp for 60 seconds. Anything besides the first coat is going to go in for the 60 seconds. The very first coat of clear goes in for 30 seconds. So there it is, 60 seconds, and it's completely dry. Now there's the white gel polish compared to the white sticker. I think it looks as good or better. So far I've had it for four days and it has lasted without a chip. I'm using that alcohol wipe to clear away the moisture barrier, and I will do a second coat to make it a stronger white. So I suggest getting this in a color that you like and then getting a full-size nail polish of gel white because you, from this kit you will use the gel primer, you'll use the base and top coat, the uh, it comes with baby doll pink. It, I'm suggesting getting this in a different color and it does come with uh, a little two-sided buffer, uh, one of these little sticks, and this gel cleanser. After I use this up, I'm just gonna refill it with rubbing alcohol because it's really obvious that that's what that is. And it comes with some of these little lint-free pads. This package comes with three of these, which you won't use unless they tell us how to use them correctly. Oh, and it comes with this LED lamp. So I recommend getting that in a color that you like and then getting, not this, because this comes with 10 of these, which you're not gonna use or maybe you will, but I'm not gonna use them. All I really wanted was this bonus little tiny white nail polish. This one comes with the little tiny thing of white polish, that's 0.125 fluid ounces. It comes with 0.25 fluid ounces of this baby doll pink, which is nice. I'm not sure you really need it, but it's nice. It doesn't come with the base and top coat, which I wish it did. It comes with 10 more of these, which I don't want. And it also comes with this little sanding thing and this. Uh, that is my main tip, that if you wanna do the gel manicure in French tips, to just get a thing of white gel polish and maybe the baby doll pink if you like that, but I don't think it's really necessary. And I think the less you use on the nail bed, the more time you're gonna buy when this grows out. As long as it is a white gel polish that can be used with LED light, then it doesn't even have to be this nailing brand. But um, I like it. And I did find that I had to do two coats of this. And what I did is if you watch my French Tips with Natural Nails, I used acetone. A regular nail polish remover might have uh, other products in it, like to moisturizing type products that aren't gonna fully evaporate. So maybe stick with the acetone and just get really dab off as much of the excess, just a barely damp brush and just wipe that away. Cure it for 60 seconds. Use the alcohol cleanser. Do another coat, another thin coat. To line it up and clear away the excess and then cure it for 60 seconds again. After every time that you cure your nail, wipe away moisture barrier. If you forget to do that, it's gonna mess up. It's, you're gonna have a layer of moisture in between the coats and it's gonna peel away. So you've got to remember to do that. If you have a sticky surface or a gel manicure didn't work, it's because you forgot to do that. And it's easy to forget, especially with the, doing these white tips. I just did one or two nails at a time because, because as you're trying to do this, it's really easy to mess up a wet white tip. If you mess it up, just wipe it away. Take your alcohol wipe, clear it off and just start again. So it's really easy to wipe it away because you're working against a glossy surface as opposed to regular nail polish. You can see that video, French Tips with Natural Nails. I'll put a link here or something. But that's how I did it. A coat of the primer, a coat of the clear, here for 60 seconds. I put the alcohol after that coat. If you want, do a coat of Baby Doll Pink, pink or the sheer pink or whatever it is. Do it for 60 seconds. Then cl again, clear off with the alcohol wipe and then thin coat of, of the white, clean up the edge, stir it for 60 seconds, wipe it off, do one more coat because found that it wasn't uh, opaque enough. It was, I didn't like little spots peeking through. So I did another coat, stir it for 60 seconds, wiped off the, the moisture layer, and then I did a coat of the clear and I wrapped it around the edge here. And then I took this little, you wanna get the edge so that it doesn't start chipping. I did that, I wrapped around the edge in the clear only and then I took this and scraped away 
any of the polish that I got on my nail. You can also use this, you know, this to wipe away any white, just barely wet with acetone and really dab off all the excess. And then you can like clean that up. You can even use a regular paintbrush if you want a tinier edge to clean stuff up. Uh, so that was a clear we're talking about. Then I cured for 60 seconds. These ones only work with the LED light. There's some that work with UV light and LED, and there's some that work only with UV light. I've, I've seen in other videos that the LEDs will last forever for $39 for this whole kit. To come with this, I think, is a really good deal. Another tip I was going to say is I thought that there would be no problem using these little alcohol swabs that you can get $250 for $4. And they look like the, almost the same stuff as this, but they do have lint. And if you use these instead, if you're going to use something like this, before you put on another layer, check it under the magnifying light and just make sure, you know, take a tweezer and just make sure that you don't have any lint that you're about to uh, cure right into your fingernail polish. Uh, I don't know how much, how much these are for replacement, but they give you a very small package with the kit. Okay, so uh, maybe, maybe that's enough information, but those are the main things I wanted to say. So I hope you find that helpful and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.